folks. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. It is Monday, Columbus Day or Native American Day, whichever you want to call it. I hope everyone is enjoying their holiday. Yeah, the kids are out of school. Back on October 8th, I posted an article about an asteroid that was passing in front of the sun uh, during a solar flare. And this here is the image of the asteroid. Tukinshin Atlas. Good news, it is now visible with the naked eye. Many people are scanning the sky for a rare chance to see Tukinshin Atlas, a comet that will not appear again for many a millennia. Chinese astronomers discovered the comet on January uh, 2023 at the Tukinshin Chinese Observatory, Purple Mountain Observatory, of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. Then, a month later, it was independently discovered by the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, ATLAS, on February 22nd of last year. On X, formerly known as Twitter, a lot of people have been posting images of this asteroid. Images that they captured uh, late last night. Actually, not late last night, about 45 minutes after sunset, it could be seen. Here's another image and another. It's got a long tail. Back on October 8th, when I posted the original uh, alert about this comet, um, they said that it might be as bright as Jupiter. Well, it looks brighter than Jupiter to me. I'll play this video for you. It's from the uh, Soho movie theater. There's the comet. And you can see all the particles that are ejected from the sun um, because of that solar flare. Yeah, pretty cool. And actually, let me bring this up a little bit so you can see the whole thing. It goes off screen here at the top. Yeah, there it is on uh, Soho, S-O-H-O -O, movie theater. This image was from October 7th, but like I said, I posted it on October 8th. Here's another image from San Diego, California. Peak viewing for this asteroid began on October 12th, when the comet made its closest approach to Earth at roughly 40 million miles. Um, if you want to look for this, you should look towards the western sky, uh, low on the horizon, just after sunset for the best chance to sp spot this asteroid. It's going to disappear around October 26th, not to be seen again without a telescope for 80,000 years. Comet C slash 2023A3, or Tukishin Atlas is currently in the constellation of Virgo. It can be observed looking in the west southwest direction given its current brightness, magnitude 1.3, they say. Um, C slash 2023 um, A3 um, is visible right now to the naked eye, easy under dark skies, and it might be difficult to see from heavy light, light polluted areas, but yeah, this is uh, uh, an image from San Diego, so I don't know. You can see that um, there was probably fog that blocked out up, up further um, to the west in the night sky. This comet uh, reached its closest approach to the Earth on Friday, about 44 million miles, um, 71 million kilometers away. It is now rising in the night sky immediately after sunset. Last night, the comet was visible close to the western horizon, about 45 minutes after sunset. The waxing gibbous moon will be bright, about 83% lit, but that will make no difference since you'll be viewing the comet in a fairly brightly lit region of the sky, just above where the sun will have recently set. Now, they believe that the best nights to see Comet Tukishin Atlas are ahead of us uh, from roughly ten, for roughly 10 nights. And it should be visible to the naked eye Monday, October 14th through October 15th, Tuesday. Um, those are probably the best viewing simply because the comet it will be set up against a darker sky. 
here I have an image courtesy of Sky and Telescope showing the different dates October 11th through the 21st and the different areas it's going to be as it climbs. This was posted to Twitter. It's Mount Adams. Yeah, Mount Adams is under watch right now. Been having a lot of activity. And a lot of people historically uh, believe that comets, asteroids are harbingers of doom and dramatic change. The passage of Halley's Comet in 1066 was thought to have been a herald for the Norman conquest of England. And it reappeared in 1910, raising fears that the long gaseous tail would poison millions of people. So do you believe that this is a harbinger of doom? There's been a lot of talk about October su um, surprises. Yeah, I don't know. There's a lot going on in the world. God did say that there would be signs yeah, just before the end times in heaven and on earth. Is this another one? I don't know. So what are your thoughts? Please put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.